Hey everyone, Ben here from RealMax Software. In this video, we're going to be talking about theme styles. But before we do that, let me just explain what I've got set up here. So I've got a three page site in Rapid Weaver 7, the home page, the about page, and a contact page. And I'm using the Voyager theme that ships with Rapid Weaver 7. Okay. Now, as I say, what we're going to talk about here is theme styles. Now, the theme styles are the options that come with each theme that allow you to customize the look and feel of your site. Now, by default, the master style will be applied to all of your pages. So as you can see here, as we browse through the three pages in our site, all of them look the same. They all have the same style applied. So to customize this master style, you go to the master style setting here and you'll be presented with all of the options available to this theme. Now it's important to note that all the options are on a per theme basis. So each theme comes with their own unique set of style options. Okay, once you've noted that, we can have a look at customizing the master theme and change the look on all of our pages. So for example, if we didn't want the slogan here to be uppercase, we could uncheck that option here and you'll see that goes to lowercase. And if we went and checked our home page, you'll see that will be true. And the same for the about and the contact page. So all of the pages get these styles applied. So just to reiterate that, let's say for example, we want to, to change the content width to be 970. You'll see the content area here shrunk. If we go and check the home page again, you'll see that it's also 970. And the same for the about and the contact page. So as I say, the master styles get applied to all of the pages on your site. Now let's just reset that to 1170. And what we are going to do for all the pages on our site is hide this right hand sidebar. So we'll scroll down here and find the sidebar settings and we're going to hide that. And there you'll see that the main content area takes up the full width of the content area here. And if we check the home page again, you'll see that that's been applied and the same for the about and the contact page. Okay, so now what happens when we have or when we want to change the styling for just one individual page? Well, we can do that by opening up the page inspector and then going to the theme style setting here. And as you can see, by default, the pages always use the master style. However, if you uncheck that option, you'll then be able to change these styles for just this page. So for example, if we wanted an uppercase slogan here, we could do so. However, if we go and check the about page, you'll see that's still lowercase and it's also lowercase on the home page. And that is because these two pages are still using the master styles. So only the contact page has these specific styles set at the moment. So if we update another setting, let's say set the content width to 870, you'll see that that gets shrunk into here. However, on the about page, it's still 1170 and on the home page, it's still 1170. So hopefully you can see here, this is how you do custom styles for just one individual page. Okay, let's also just update the active page color. So we can set here, we'll set this to be red, for example. Now the active page color is inside the menu. You'll see the page color here is red. However, if we go to the about page and open up the menu, you'll see it's set to blue. Okay, so the reason I've done that is because I now want to show you how you could share these custom styles across multiple pages. So once you've set up everything the way that you like it and you want to save it as a style, what you would do is choose this little cog icon here and you would save it as a custom style. So we'll do that and we'll call this red, like so. And then you'll see that under the theme style setting, we have not only a theme default, but also a red theme styles. Okay, so if we went to the about page, and we unchecked the use master style option. Obviously by default, it gets the theme defaults and these are set by the developer. So these are the default stylings that we saw at the beginning of the video. This is how the theme looks by default. 
However, if we choose our red theme styles, you'll see that the options we chose on the contact page are now applied to this page as well. So we have an uppercase slogan, the content width was 870, and the active page was red. So if we go and check that, we can now see we have a red uh, active page on the about page, and we also have red on the contact page. However, when we go to the home page, we're still using the master styles. So when you open up the menu, you'll see that's still set to blue. Okay, so that is how you do custom styles on multiple pages and also how you customize the master styles for all of the pages on your site. Just before we finish up, I want to note that if you want to go back and use the master styles for any of your pages, all you simply do is check this use master style options and what will happen is that the master style settings will be applied to this page. And then when you go to here and you update any of the settings, let's say we make the content 870 here as well. Now when we go to the pages that are using the master style, those are applied again. So in the same way at the beginning of the video, they're updated on all of the pages using the master styles. However, the contact page that is using a custom style, it still gets its own style. So we've got the uppercase slogan and the active page is red. Okay, so hopefully that explains theme styles in some more detail for you. If you've got any questions, leave a comment below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.